Hey yo, welcome back everybody to another remix beatbox tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys the laser sound. Or laser whistle. Same thing. So anyway, this has been a very, very highly requested tutorial. Every time I do it in other tutorials, everyone's like, oh, tutorial on that sound, that sound, that sound. So I thought, you know, I'm finally going to get to it. I'm finally going to do what you guys want. And uh, here it is, the laser sound tutorial. So if you guys do enjoy this, if you learn from it, make sure you like, you subscribe, you share it, and you leave in the comments down below what you would like to see next. Let's do it. So just like the previous tutorial, there's going to be three steps to this. Step number one, the mouth position. Step number two, how you need to blow out air. And step number three, the execution. So let's get into it. So just like in the previous tutorial, I've drawn something up for you guys. And I just remember, I'm going to clarify it again. I clarified it in the last tutorial. I'm going to clarify it here again. I'm not an artist in any drawing matter, okay? The only art you'll ever see from me is my music. But basically, what I've drawn here is that's your top lip. That's your bottom lip, that's your tongue, right? Fuck? Now, all you want to do is bring both lips into your mouth and put your tongue on the top of your top lip. So, uh-huh, 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 tongue is there. Uh-huh. Now, from here, what you need to do is add a lot of pressure and then try and blow out while adding the pressure, so... So at first, you're obviously going to get just a, a lot of air coming out. You won't get the whistle immediately. It's really just about that tiny little gap of air, that tiny little hole between the um, top lip and your tongue. That's what creates the whistle. So you'll have to train this a lot. I know the position might be a little uncomfortable to constantly keep your lips like that. But just keep training. I know you guys can get it. So I want to recommend that if you guys are training the sound, don't try and do it in short bursts like... Try to get it first at a longer burst sound. So try to elongate it to get control over it and, and then you can start, you know, all that kind of cool stuff. Another thing is mess around with the mouth position of it, right? You don't need to do it like as pressurized. You can maybe do it a bit lower in your mouth if that makes any sense. So instead of like a good try. That's ways to try. But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy today's tutorial. I know it's a bit of a short one, but you know me, I love to explain things in a short, simple way to get you guys to do these sounds in the best way and easiest way possible. So let's go. Guys, if you did enjoy today's tutorial, make sure you do like, subscribe, share it, and tell me in the comments down below what you'd like to see next. I love you all, keep being inspired, and peace out. Come on, fire.